If you've been in Central Texas longer than a few months, you realize that we are in what is called a buyer's market, meaning that our inventory of homes exceed the demand for homes or the amount of people that's seeking it. So there are more homes available than those that are looking for a house. In that buyer's market, that means that the sellers uh, traditionally come up with most of the closing costs because they're trying to entice a buyer to buy their home. But there are a lot of sellers out there that don't realize that they have a couple of options in selling their home. It's not the traditional, let me find a buyer, let me get a lender with that buyer and then buy this house. Particularly those sellers who are underwater or who has to bring money uh, to the closing table. For, so for those uh, sellers, um, I've just thought about a couple of options that we have here. So one of those options being a lease then own. It's not lease to own, lease then own. What a lease then own simply is, is uh, you going out, leasing the home, straight lease, no down payment, deposit is required. You rent this house until such time as you are ready to purchase it. And you and the seller come up to an agreement as to when and how long this lease will carry out. With a lease to own, it's a little different because here we are actually moving the deed from the buyer to the seller. And in most cases, or not most, in some cases we have what is called a wrap, meaning you can transfer the deed and still not have cleared your primary mortgage. So if that's the case, we can do a wrap for you as well. But just understand that you do have a couple of options out there to actually sell your home. So if you want more information, give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, Ron? with the real estate marketplace, but this has been Real Estate with Ron.